All right. Welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Intimacy Simulator. Uh, last time we were uh, cleaning Yuri's face uh, with this close-up. So uh, let's just continue where we left off. Anyway, so then, <laughs> so then, uh, all right. Is there something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started to retract my hand. Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Oh, oh, those eyes. Why are you looking at me like that? Please stop. Eh? Just, just for a little longer. Feels really nice. Ha! <laughs> ah, ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. An intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. So much that she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through silently parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma from the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist that sent a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just moments ago. But let me get that out of the way. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. It's fine! The moment is over as soon as it begun. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just tr transpired. Kunto, you, you, you can't ignore that. It's a sign from the heavens, my man. I hesitantly <laughs> retrieve my own brush and continue follow Yuri, following Yuri's example. Oh, Jesus. I should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than expected. I'm really happy with this result. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't it take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and have then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before the, our le event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Whew! Ha 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 ha! I like that's Yuri. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! You say that like you're, it's glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little unconcerned about time. I need to start m making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well, Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. The important thing is, we got everything done, right? Yeah, yeah, we got everything done. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's not like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with her fr with friends in a relaxed environment. But it doesn't mean that this is her last time that can happen. Alright, Yuri. You Once Yuri packs up, I, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I guess I'm glad I was uh, able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's, it's fine that we didn't have much as much time as we wanted, because we can we can do this again whenever you want. You can come over, and we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. So <clears throat> you're very thoughtful, Kunto. Yuri takes a step closer to me and br briefly squeezes my hand. Oh God, that's a. Uh, that, that, that is a close-up, my good sir. That that scared me. Oh, God. <laughs> holy shit. Okay. I kind of like that thing about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Whoa! S -s 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 oh, f -f -f fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Oh, fuck. 
Sayori? Eh? Ah, fuck, dude. This is uncomfortable as shit. Ah! Ah! Uh, hi, Kunto! Uh, Sayori! Just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Kunto. I, I just stopped by to say hi. <clears throat> um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Uh, I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so. So that's fine, right? Of course! Sorry, Beams. Y yeah, so. I'll see you tomorrow! Clearly embarrassed, she really hurries off. Speed of sound. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori. Sayori? Then you wanted to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? Y you know. You know. How much fun you were having with Harry. And how close you got to her. Makes me really happy. You made such good friends. You're not happy. You're crying. Aw. That's all that matters to me. Tears saw her to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Kunto? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. It must be better if I could I if I could just disappear. Aw, oh, Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Kunto! If I wasn't here, you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica's right. I should just... Wait, Monica? What did she say? What the fuck did Monica say? Monica's right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you is like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade anything else for. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, Sari looks away. I pat her hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm, I'm scared, Kunto. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Say Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and starting to like you too much. I did this to myself. Kunto? I like you so much that I want to die! Holy shit, son. That's how I feel. And, and, that's, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand with my own. You remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings. I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Oh, shit. Shit, dude. If I do that... I'm gonna quick save it real quick. This is Sayori route territory. That's Sayori route territory. Oh, 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 fuck, dude. 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 Can't do the shit to me. I decided you're in route, and you pull the shit on me. You fucking maniacs. How dare you? Oh, it's gonna hurt doing this. I can't do that one. I am dedicated to following my route. Oh. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Mo Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. <sighs> Fuck, that was a hard decision. The, s the toughest decisions need this. No way, I forgot of it. The tough, the toughest choices require the strongest wills. <laughs> that place Thanos meme right here. Thanos meme right here. She told me how much happier you are you seen after I joined the club. I'm near struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but 
Please trust me that I know what's best, and that w w will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll, I'll get help get things back the way they were. I... I see. Sorry forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please. Don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time there's no happiness down this that path. That's why I came here. So I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just want to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Kunto. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Sorry if the smile finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops her knees. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sorry looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have could have done. The most I could do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. <sighs> I, I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are way are the, back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. Damn it, Kunto! You fucked up. I fucked up. But I have to stick to my route. I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. And that was the last we've seen of Sayori. Probably. I don't know. I, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house and wake her up, but I decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations of the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything. I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over, so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Kunto! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Oh god. Monica's placing the little booklets uh, on each desk in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that all the poems were pro all the poems were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So, that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring this. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. <sighs> I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on the days this important, she tried a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly re remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it was the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ha ha ha. You should take a little responsibility for her, Kunto. I mean, especially after you exchange, after your exchange with her yesterday. What? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? What are you talking about? Ex exchange? M Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after her. What does that have to do with anything? How do you know this shit? But, I stammer. Embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? How about how I basically turned down her confession? This makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all. So, don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? What you talking about, girl? Monica's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. There's no music. There's no music. There's nothing. 
There's nothing here. I am gonna... I'm gonna save. I'm, I'm gonna save. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, Literature Club, please leave a like down below. If you didn't, comment down below you didn't. If you did, comment down below you did. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.